right, let's just pop us the top. Cheers, fish and freaks. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Parking brakes on, and we're going on the run. Whew, y'all, I hope you're having a good day. Exploration mission, if you will, taking you guys along with me. Happy you're here. Went and got my head examined last week, and this week I'm trying to get my mouth taken care of. OSG, she uh, she went to the dentist, and then she was like, you gotta go, honey. I scheduled you an appointment. I was like, okay. I tried to schedule it on a bad weather day, which was yesterday, it was kind of rainy, it was really bad. And today's sunny, it's bluebird, probably not the best fishing conditions. It's a positive way to look at it. So I had my gear ready to go, I was gonna go to the dentist, I was gonna come back, and I was just gonna hit it. But I got there, and the lady cleaned my teeth, super nice, bass fisherman she was. And we were talking about her and her boyfriend going bass fishing, and she was like, oh man, you know, I've always wanted to go to Lake Fork. I was like, man, I, I couldn't I would tell you how Lake Fork, all those big fish that I could. She was like, man, your teeth look great, you just don't have any cavities. I still don't have a cavity, y'all. Never had one in my entire life. And then she's like, but your gum's receding. I was like, yeah, I've kind of noticed that. And they brought in a specialist and they were like, oh yeah, you need to like take care of this. Like right now. Ah, I'm, heading I'm heading to the dentist right now to get a graft. Y'all, they're gonna graft my gum down here. Down there in my mouth. It's real low down there. Uh, well, I better give you, get you a better look because it's about to not be that way. Like, right down there, that one, that one right there. I guess that's from, you know, back in the day, I used to pack some lippers. I used to pack quite a few lippers. And I told him that, I was like, yeah, I used to dip. Young man on the tear, just getting in some lucky lippers in. And I guess it had an effect on my gum line. Or maybe it's just from sniffing all those fish. I have no idea. But anyways, I gotta go get this fixed. It's, a, it's a bad from what they say. And they're gonna take skin off the roof of my mouth and they're gonna put it right there. It's gonna be awful. It's gonna hurt so bad. Anyways, I am not excited right now and I don't know how the rest of my day is gonna go. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can dangle with this current situation. They're gonna numb my mouth, probably give me some medicine and stuff. Anyway, I'm going in there. I'll give you an update as soon as my mouth has been patched and repaired. That one right there. One last look. I know, that's nasty to look at my lips right now. They're all crusty and nasty. They totally don't even, don't even open that sucker. My mouth is still numb right now. I feel like I got attacked by a bunch of, bunch of daggum bees. It was like, I just yanked on one with a top water, reeled it in, and then was working on that thing for like an hour trying to get the hooks out. That's what that, that's what I just experienced in life. Stitches that are in there is like 30 pound test braid. They got a little hook. It's like a hook and needle situation goes in there and fixes it. They took skin off the top of my mouth. You know, like when you eat super hot pizza, you just get on in it and it just rips the top of your mouth skin off and you don't feel it for a while. That's what it feels like right now. And then they put it right there and those stitches are all up in there, man. And I'm supposed to have nothing but a liquid diet for like days and then just mushy food for a couple weeks. Had no idea that was gonna, was, it's kind of messed up my day. This is gonna hurt real bad as soon as this pain medication wears off or this uh, numbness, numb, numbing stuff. They said I, I was so juicy, literally. They said I was so juicy, like there's so much saliva that the stitches weren't taken so it took extra long, so. <laughs> the uh, the numbness started to wear off a little bit, and I was, whew. We gotta go find us something soft to eat now. Good thing I'm married to a dietitian. Ah, uh, not really supposed to do this, but I, I gotta take his gauze out. Feels like having a giant dip in or something. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, it's a little bloody. Not really supposed to do anything around that part of my face. I don't have, I don't really have enough time in the day to go fishing now. God, I need to mow the yard. My plan was to leave today and go fishing, but I think I'm just gonna have to get up early and go. Look at the field of clovers over here. The clovers are just taking over. We're gonna have to power through, y'all. This week I've been looking forward to. I was gonna slide in tonight and then start early morning, but I might just have to take a breather here. 
get my bearings and then go super early. Oh, it ain't looking good down there. It ain't looking good down there, y'all. Sorry for the gruesomeness. It's just the reality. Oh, I got the crate packed. Boat is back there in the dark. It's ready. Almost. Covers halfway on. And that y'all is about all I can muster up for right now. I hope y'all never have to get one of those graphs, gun graphs. They suck. It's just gonna have to be like soup, Chick-fil-A, I don't know. Needless to say, this is gonna be one interesting trip and I will see you guys in the morning. Hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better. That is my dinner and I can't eat those, dang it. Okay, that's, that's my last of my rant. I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, everybody. Oh, this is my excited voice with a uh, uh, gum grab in my mouth. I didn't sleep at all. Tossed and turned all night. So, uh, <clears throat> this is four six right now. Sun hadn't come up, I'm hitting the road. I gotta find me some soup or something to put in my mouth, give me some breakfast. We're heading down to Central Texas. I'm gonna meet up with Lunkers later today. Uh, and we're gonna be doing some exploration. in the morning it is time for a mouth maintenance I am to take this stuff and not really swish I'm not supposed to swish so much my swish right next to my crankbaits 30 minutes before eating drinking or using a toothbrush I am not allowed to brush my teeth yet it's freaking gross really gross all right, let's just pop us a top. Cheers, fish and freaks. I strategically stopped 30 minutes outside of a town here so I could wash and be ready to put some soup in my mouth because I am hungry. Got ourselves a couple double wide trailers that are blocking up the entire road, y'all. It's trailer park Tammy setting up camp out here in the middle of the road, it. I just want to go fish, y'all. There's houses in the streets on the middle of the daggum highway. Oh my gosh, this ain't good. Oh boy, that ain't good up there. Somebody had a big time boo-boo. Bless their heart, man. Hope they're okay. Mm. Thought I was having a bad day with my face. We've made it to the Bucky's. The beaver is here to save the day. Yes. Thank you. Made it out of the, the weeds over there. I've got to fill up the boat on this journey. Putting in some Bucky's gas. Bucky's gas may contain up to 10% ethanol for all y'all boat and uh, high performing engine peoples out there. I got to put some good Kool Aid in there. This is a. Uh, I don't, I don't even say this is recommended, I say it's mandatory that you use a fuel additive on these, uh, these engines now when you are using gas that has any kind of ethanol in it. I used to get this great clean gas from this place on Lake Fork, I think it was Star Mart over there. They had 100% gasoline, no ethanol, and you could absolutely tell a difference in the performance of your engine. This stuff right here, this is a Tecron product anyway you put that in there and that reduces the ethanol it enhances the performance of the engine well Bucky's came through on some mushy foods for me uh, chicken salad tater salad and I got these muscle milk for my muscles and just because I had to have something tasty nanner pudding baby that's to spruce the mood up Ah, I'm trying to see what they did. Uh, golly. Uh, it's a stinger. This might be my first time ever getting chicken noodle soup from Chick-fil-A, but thank you, Chick-fil-A. You provide so much for me. You don't even know. On the hard times. Basically, the goal is take the spoon, put it back there, and just swallow it. Last leg of the journey. It's time to get to the water. 
ladies and gentlemen, we have water in the background. This is the best cure for any ailment ever, y'all. My head hurts, my jaw hurts from them ripping on it, my lip is killing me, but I am ready to fish and make no mistake. Sitting under some bald cypress trees right here, water is down, it's looking like some excellent docks to go just bam, 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 twerk some jigs under, oh my gosh. I've paid my launch fee, I just gotta get a few things ready in the boat and then we're gonna be good to go. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus. Well y'all, our journey ends right now, but it starts right back here on the next episode, heading out to a lake I've never been to, trying to figure this thing out. I'm sorry you had to see all that gross stuff today, but it's just what was going on in my life. I vlog it. It's what I gotta get through to get out to the water. And on that note, I will see y'all back in the Silver Bullet very soon. Later. Oh, this is gonna be quite the leap. Oh. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, holy, holy cow. What the crap? Are you serious? Did you guys see that? Tell me you saw it. Oh my gosh.